Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equals 1. Okay, so what do we do? Remember that 2 m um, 4 here is the same as 2 to the power of 2, right? Then we have x then minus 2 to the power of x to be equal to 1. Now remember that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, this will be the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. Okay, meaning that you can rearrange the powers. So I will do the same thing here. So I have 2 to the power of x then 2 will go out minus 2 to the power of x equals 1 now do you know that i can replace 2 to the power of x with a letter knowing that we have 2 to the power of x in two places so let n be equal to 2 to the power of x now in this case I will now have n squared minus 2, okay, minus another n, okay, this is equal to 1. Now the next target is to bring 1 to the left. So we have n squared minus n minus 1 equals 0. And this is now quadratic. So we can apply or use the formula method to solve this. If we are going to use the formula, our a will be 1, that is the coefficient of n squared. Our b will be minus 1, the coefficient of n, and c is minus 1, the constant. Don't pick the 1 alone, you must write the negative with it. Now, what will be the formula? The formula is n equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now why did i write n here because we are looking for n in the equation now let us substitute n will be equal to in place of b i have minus 1 then plus or minus b squared now becomes minus 1 squared if you fail to have this in brackets you will be wrong we have 4 times 1 times minus 1 because c is minus 1 then the whole of this will be over 2 times 1 for a because a is 1 now our n will be negative negative x positive so we have plus 1 then plus or minus minus 1 squared is 1 then minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 will give us plus 4 and this will now be over 2 so that n from here will be equal to 1 plus or minus then we have square root of 5 this will be over 2 continue okay if we continue with this then we have n to be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 okay so this is what we have as the values of um n but remember we're not looking for n so let's go back we say that n is equal to 2 to the power of x, right? Okay, so this is to say that 2 to the power of x now will be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Or on this other side, 2 to the power of x will be equal to 1, 1 minus square root of 5 and this will be over 2 
but one of these will be rejected since we are looking for real solution because from here now we're going to have negative 1 minus square root of 5 will give us negative because square root of 5 is 2 points and above right is 2 and above so therefore we have negative numerator which will give us negative value here and 2 to the power of x can never give a negative value so this will be rejected this will be rejected okay so that we can work with what we have here now to get the value of x from here we will introduce natural logarithm right so we say log 2 to the power of x will be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 okay now what do i do from here again i can split what we have here okay let's continue okay let's continue from here we have log log 2 to the power of x equal to now i want to deal with this this is the same thing as log 1 plus root 5 then minus log 2 because if you want to obey one of the laws of logarithm if you have log log a over b this is the same thing as log a minus log b okay so that's what i applied over there now if i continue the power can always go behind so we have x log 2 equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 minus log 2 now, to get the value of x, we divide both sides by log 2, divide the whole of this by log 2, and divide this by log 2. And from here, this can cancel this, so that our x will be equal to log, here we have log 1 plus 5 over log 2 minus this can go and we have one over there okay and if we continue this will now be the same thing as x being equal to log okay here we have log one plus log five now the log here which is the denominator becomes becomes the base then we have minus one so this is the value of x that will um, satisfy the equation but then if you want to get this in decimal it is still very obtainable thank you for watching